Atoms are unstable if they do not have a full outer shell of electrons. Let's look at the atomic structure of lithium. The red circle represents protons, the green circle represents electrons, and the blue circle represents neutrons. Lithium has a mass number of 7 and an atomic number of 3. So lithium has 3 protons, 3 electrons and 4 neutrons. So of these 3 electrons, 2 electrons go on the first shell and the third electron goes on the second shell. Now let's look at the atomic structure of fluorine. Fluorine has a mass number of 19 and an atomic number of 9. Fluorine has 9 protons, 9 electrons and 10 neutrons. There are 2 shells where 2 electrons go on the first shell and 7 electrons go on the second shell. This is a dot and cross diagram to show the different electrons from the different atoms. Lithium is a metal, whereas fluorine is a non-metal. Lithium is in group 1, so will have one electron in its outer shell, whereas fluorine is in group 7, so it has seven electrons in its outer shell. Let's go back to the rule that I told you at the beginning of the video, which is both atoms are unstable because both atoms do not have a full outer shell of electrons. To gain a full outer shell of electrons and become stable, lithium loses one electron. To gain a full outer shell of electrons and become stable, fluorine gains this electron from lithium. So lithium loses one electron and fluorine gains the same electron. When an atom loses or gains electrons, an ion is formed. Let's now take a look at the structure of this lithium ion. As it's lost its outer electron, it now only has one full shell consisting of two electrons. When you draw the electronic configuration of an ion, you must draw square brackets around the ion and the charge of this ion is one plus. So we draw a plus sign in the top right. To understand why lithium has a charge of one plus, let's take a look at the subatomic particles in this ion. Nothing has happened to the protons, so there are still three protons. Lithium has lost one electron, so there are now two electrons. And nothing has happened to the neutrons, so there are still four neutrons. The lithium atom has no charge because the three protons cancel out the three electrons. Whereas the lithium ion has a charge of plus one. This is because there are three protons and two electrons. So the extra proton gives it a charge of plus one. Positive ions are known as cations. I repeat that. Positive ions are known as cations. Writing the electronic configuration is just two with square brackets and then a positive sign to represent the charge. Let's now take a look at how a fluorine atom gains an electron to become a fluoride ion. It's really important you always draw a dot and cross diagram whenever explaining ionic bonds. This is because you can see the cross having clearly been gained from the lithium atom. To understand what charge this fluoride ion has, we need to look at the subatomic particles found in this fluoride ion. Nothing has happened to the number of protons, so it still has nine protons. There are two electrons on the first shell and eight electrons on the second shell having gained one electron. This means we now have 10 electrons. Nothing has happened to the number of neutrons, so there are still 10 neutrons. The charge on a fluorine atom is zero because the nine protons cancel out the nine electrons. The charge on a fluoride ion is minus one. This is because the fluoride ion has one extra electron compared to the protons. Therefore, the charge is minus one. Negative ions are known as anions. I repeat that. Negative ions are known as anions. The electronic configuration is 2.8 in square brackets because it's an ion. And then you do the minus charge in the top right. These blue lines represent the electrostatic force of attraction between oppositely charged ions. This is known as an ionic bond. An ionic bond is the electrostatic force of attraction between oppositely charged ions. Ionic bonds are very strong and always form between oppositely charged ions. Press pause to complete this gap fill task. The answers will follow. 
If you didn't understand, just replay the video. Press pause to answer the questions and the answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video.